We are decoupaging today. This is one of my care packages that sold in my Etsy shop. So I'm getting it ready to <clears throat> go to the recipient. It was ordered as a gift. So we are already put the first coat of paint on. Now I'm coming in and decoupaging the napkin on. If you watched me in my other video and saw how I did that one, then you'll know the process. If you're new to my channel, welcome. And I'm going to go ahead and put the Mod Podge and Tacky Glue mixture here on the top of this. And then I'm going to do something new. And so <laughs> This is going to be the first time I've done a new technique with this, so we're going to see how it turns out. The first, first step is to put the napkin on, so let's decoupage this. Just going to do the lid right now. And once I do the next step and see how that looks and turns out, then we'll determine if I do it. because he doesn't know I'm making a video.
going to put a second coat on and let this dry. So I'll just continue to put more layers on so that it gets rid of the paper feel and has more of the smooth, you'll, it'll be smooth instead of rough from the paper because once the paper dries it, it feels rough. Just a second. Okay, so now let me just show you this. It's turning out really cute. Going to be a floral theme. The care package that is going out was the Morning Glory. So I thought the floral theme fit in perfectly with that. And let me just show you the contents while this is drying. This is what comes in the Morning Glory care package that's listed in my Etsy shop. This is original artwork by my daughter. And then I put a wax seal, and there's a bee image in the middle of that. And then I made this cute little decorative paper clip. So that comes with every little card, so your Morning Glory card. And then I put in some paper inside and just tied it with twine. So this is one little mini journal that you receive. And then next is a keychain. It's a nature theme. And then I took a pre-made journal and I covered it with fabric on the inside and the outside. Very country rustic theme. I love this beehive quilt pattern is what this pattern is called right here. So you get this and it's really cute. And I just put a little ribbon piece of fabric through it to tie on to the bookmark, but you could, the keychain can come off and you could use it for something else. And then I give you three tea samples, organic tea samples, in one of my laminated little coin part purse um, minimalist wallet. So that comes with it. And then a cute little drawstring bag, canvas bag. Not all of them have a drawstring, but a little canvas bag, and I stamped on the front of it, I love you to Florida and back. So the state of Florida, and orange, and palm trees, things that you would find here in Florida. Then inside the little canvas bag is a sheet of stickers that I've printed out, and these are the various um, artworks that my daughter um, did and projects that I've done, just different images that um, I've made. Subscribe to my channel, get on my VIP list, my Market the Sunshine logo, and these can be used in, as they choose. Um, so just, just cute little uh, images. These are, you know, my products that I've made that I've taken images of. So they're all mine. I have the rights to all of these. Nothing copyright infringed at, at all. And then also in the bag is another cute little paperclip bookmark. And then one of my cute little metal tens that's been embellished. And then it has a little pop-out card. It says, Happy Day. And then I put a little cactus in the bottom. And you open it up 
and there's just cute little inspiration, motivation, make you feel good little sayings on it. Happy day. Have a very happy day. A little something just for you. Have a happy day. So you read it from the bottom up on this one. <laughs> so it should have gone in there like this. Okay. So then the little top slides back on. And then you can use these for buttons, mints, sewing needles, whatever your little heart desires. So in each one of these little metal tins I decorate differently. So these go back into the little bag. And that's what comes with this care package. So the wood crate and then all these goodies. So this I call my writing box care package because you get two journals, the little morning glory note card journal, the two paper clips, and then my laminated little minimalist wallet coin purse with three organic tea bag samples inside. And then everything is going to be wrapped in pretty tissue paper. And I will finish it off with twine or ribbon or something of fabric along that line. And then they all go inside the crate so that this they can reuse the crate and they can keep their little treasures inside of here or whatever they want to use it for. So it's a great little gift and it's an excellent value. So you'll find it in my Markets of Sunshine Etsy shop. You can head on over to my shop and you'll be able to find it there. Okay, so let's go ahead and decoupage the front of this now. I think I'll do the lid and then the front.
safe for small children. Thin film may cling to nose and mouth and prevent breathing. Okay, so that's just to do with the packaging. So we haven't even gotten into the opening of this plastic up yet. And from reviews, I found some very nice reviews on this. Um, and I'm the reason why it comes wrapped like this is because one package broke in the shipment and the person left a negative review, but of course it wasn't the product seller's fault, but they now wrap it like a mummy. And I completely understand that because in my Etsy shop I have wrapped things like a mummy when it's, you know, all the fragile things. I've shipped snow globes and around the world made it all the way to Germany without breaking. <laughs> so I'm very, we've become an expert at shipping fragile things. Okay, let's look at this now. I always like to read you the labels because I'm very eco-friendly conscious and anything that's going to be flammable or toxic, if I have to go get my mask on, I will do that. Okay. It's covering up something and I need to read what it says. Okay, it says here... Okay, just the manufacturer comes from England. Oh, okay. All right, deco art made in USA. Manufacturer representative is UK. All right, creative custom pickled, washed, and other faux finishes on home decor projects. Extended dry time enables you to create your desired effects. So that's an indication right there. It's going to take longer to dry. Shake well, which I did. To create your desired faux finish, apply with a brush, sponge, or rag over raw or previously painted surfaces. Remove excess or layer paint until desired finish is achieved. Two coat coverage on approximately 42 square feet. Light fast, self sealing. What does that mean, light fast? Water based, permanent. Soap and water cleanup for additional product information and projects, visit decoart.com. So, nowhere on this does it tell you if it's non toxic. So, if it doesn't say non toxic, then that tells me right away I had better go get my mask and put it on. So this is going to be a part two video because it's not right here. So we shall save this. And what I will do is let the crate dry. And then I will come back and do a part two video. And we will put this new vintage finish on. And this was the patina color. Um, even though it doesn't tell you a color on here. But when I looked it up, this it was for the... Patina. I don't know why it doesn't have a color. But as you can see, the green. So what I was going to do with this is take my metal keys that we rust, made them look rusted and rustic and vintage, you know. So, you know, copper, when it ages, it, it gets green. So that was my whole idea with this, was to take the one of the vintage keys, put the um, this green wash on it, and then let's see if we can get a patina look going on it. Okay. So that's part two video, so come back for the next video, and then you will get to see me put this on, what it looks like, how it goes on, how smelly is it, do I need a mask, don't I need a mask, all that good stuff, okay? So we're going to let this dry. Like I said, we, this needs to be thoroughly, thoroughly dry. So I'm going to let that dry, I'm going to go clean my brush, and um, we shall see you in the next video. Oops, excuse me. Sorry about that. Bump my tripod. So thanks for being here, and remember this is Markets of Sunshine, where you always find a great project, eco-friendly ideas, and just a good fun time. Thanks so much for being here. Bye-bye.